All right. I want to practice measuring angles. Oh, that's not a color that'll show up. So we're gonna practice measuring angles with our protractor. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Here are the basics. When you have your protractor, there's a little circular hole that you wanna line up right there. And there's a black line that runs across the base. And you wanna run that across the bottom of your angle. So if you have an angle like this, you'll line up the hole there. That makes this the bottom line that you would line up. Okay, you want to go ahead and line up your protractor. So I have a protractor here and I wanna make sure and okay, the numbers are facing the right way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and see that hole just right there. I'm gonna line that up right at the base of my angle. And then this line that runs across, let me leave that there. So what I'm talking about when you use this, you've got that hole, you're gonna line that up. And then this black line across the bottom is gonna line up with the base of your angle. So let me take that stuff away. And then I have to measure the actual angle. So I'm gonna look and see, follow this up, 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 and then keep going up through those numbers. So when I look up, I'm gonna take my pen and I'm like, oh, let's keep it going. Stretch it up there. Now, this is where kids get confused sometimes. Let's extend our line. Oh, I'm erasing. Extend my line, go up, 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 up. If you'll notice, there are a couple of sets of numbers. We have 40 and 50, but we also have 130 and 140. This is where it's important to understand acute angles and obtuse. So I look at this and I'm like, is this a little acute angle that's less than 90 degrees? Or is this obtuse, fatter, greater than 90 degrees? Well, look boys and girls, here's 90 degrees. And this one's fatter than that. So if it's fatter, it's gonna be a number bigger than 90. So gets rid of these guys. And then I follow my line, I'm like, okay, it's between 130 and 140. I'm gonna take my best guess. I'm gonna say this angle is a 135 degree angle. Did you see how I measured that? I'm gonna try that. Let's go with this little one that's down, um, well here. I'll draw another one on my board. Let me get rid of, let me get rid of this blue mess right here, okay? And I will draw another angle below, and let's try this. Do you remember what the first step was? First step is I wanna find the hole in my protractor, and I wanna line that up where the two rays meet. And then look, do you see that bottom line? I need to line up this black line with the base of my angle. Okay, so there we go. I think I've got it. And now I have to go ahead and extend my line from where it is. I'm gonna extend it straight out. Okay, now again, I hit two numbers. I've got 40 and 140. So this is where I have to think. What type of angle is this? Is this greater than 90 degrees or less than? Let's see a little cute one. So this is going to be a 40 degree angle. Make sense? You are gonna practice measuring angles in your rotation. This is one of those things. Once you learn how to use this tool, it makes you feel pretty smart. So you're gonna practice measuring angles today.